Hello and welcome back to my Isaac Fire Let's Play series. We are back and I am here with Hippogriff here. And we actually have a name for this guy. I didn't get... Okay, I only got one name suggestion for this guy. But I love it. I do believe it is taken from Harry Potter. The comment will be on the screen right now. And Dark Prince suggested that we called him Buckbeak. And I love that idea. So his name will be Buckbeak. I don't have an anvil, so he is not named right now. But once I get one and the resources, of course, I will name him. It's only the anvil, to be honest. I have the levels and everything else. So yeah, also I opened my inventory, so you probably know what we're going to be doing today. That's right. We are going to be assaulting that dragon cave thing. Yeah, that thing over there. I've done some work off camera here. As you can see, I have a bunch of arrows and our strategy is to get down there, dig down and then just let it rain with arrows and hopefully we will be able to kill it. Um, I also have a glass bottle here to get some dragon blood because I do want to make this thing right here, flamed dragon bone sword. So that is what that is for. I have some apple juice. I'm not sure why I put that there. Um, I'll just have it with me. I have some food and water bucket so I could get down there properly and yeah. So basically what we will get from this is, okay, Buck Big, I will be back if I'm not back, oh dear, by, well, uh, two days, then, well, I don't know, uh, just wait there. <laughs> I'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> Anyways, um, wait, what was I saying before I said, okay, I'm not sure what I was saying. But I think it was something about what we would get from down there. So there will be <laughs> down there. There will be a bunch of gold and a bunch of chests with loot in it. And we will get all that loot. But as you can see, there are ores as well. So there will be tons upon tons of ore down there around this thing. And that is going to be pretty sweet as well. Now I was, oh dear, lag, laggy, laggy, lag. Oh dear, why, 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 why? Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Now, I was waiting for night time. Oh, give me that arrow, actually. I can use that. I was waiting on night time on purpose because that means this dragon will be asleep when we go down there. And that water, that is so loud. So let me just block this up with a piece of cobblestone. And uh, yeah, so there will be a bunch of gold down there and there will be chests. And once we, of course, kill the dragon, we will get... Why is it lagging? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. But anyways, we will get... At least one dragon blood so we can get that sword going and we will also get scales and we should hopefully get enough so we can get a full set of dragon scale armor that would be amazing because it's, i'm pretty sure it's better than diamond armor if we take like a okay hold on hold on if we take a diamond chest plate real quick here and two plus two armor toughness plus eight armor and let's just search for chest plate and let's go for this one for example plus nine armor so i do believe that the dragon armor is a little bit better than the diamond so that is pretty cool now i do want to kill this creeper real quick don't blow up please please don't blow up please don't blow up just die thank you okay let's dig down here shall we i'm just gonna dig right here and i'm gonna try and dig into the center of this thing if possible so we can get directly above this thing. Now I don't want any mo monsters to get down here. Because if they get behind me and push me. Then I'm going to be in trouble. But anyways let's get started. Oh, oh by the way that is one thing I have not said. Sorry I forgot to mention. There is a new update for the mod 1.8.1. But I am still using 1.7.1 version of the mod. And that is because this, oh, there it is. Okay, hold on. And the reason why I have not updated yet is because this dragon cave was generated in the 1.7 code. So if I load up the 1.8.1 update or 1.8 update, then the chests down here will be empty. And that would be so annoying because I really want the treasure here. And to be honest, it would be kind of unfair because it's already spawned here. But yeah, that's how that works. So that is why I have not updated it yet. I will update after this episode. Anyways, here it is right there. It is asleep. But this means I cannot tell if this is a male or female dragon. So, yeah, you can see this place is pretty big and there's a lot of chests down there as well as ores. Okay, you can see that many ores there. But believe me, there's even diamond down there as you can see and redstone and yes, everything. 
and Enderman apparently as well. Anyways, we should be able to just fully draw on the bow and shoot it. And it should just stay there. Now, you sh I don't think you will be able to do this in the new update of the mod. I think it has become a lot more difficult, which to be honest, I'm 100% fine with because this is too easy <laughs> if you can just do this. Um, yeah, let me just... The problem is I have to keep following it because it keeps moving when I hit it. But yeah, it doesn't make sense that it keeps sleeping while it's being... Ooh, or while it's being shot at with arrows. So yeah, that, that I'm totally fine with them changing. All right, I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to be right back with you once this thing has been killed. Okay, I think I got it. I don't know what that light is, but I do believe that it is dead because it's no longer taking any more damage. Okay, I remapped my key here because I was getting tired in my finger, so I changed the key so I could do it with my own with my um with my one hand only then didn't need to use the mouse for it anyways let's get down there i think the best way will probably be to do this oh dear nope i'm not having that now mobs will be a thing so hopefully you will be able to see good enough down here let me just check my brightness brightness is set to bright good 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 and i, I apologize for this noise right now okay you know what let's just drop drop play stuff oh dear me oh dear me okay bad idea bad idea don't just drop don't just drop don't be like me and don't yeah don't just drop okay yeah this thing is oh dear that's a lot of mobs okay spiders and creepers especially is gonna be an issue i don't want those to blow up what did i just say Anyways, okay, kill you. That wing is getting in my way. Ow, ow, zombie, zombie, zombo, skeleton, thank you. Creepers down here for me is the worst. Oh dear, no, 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 because I don't want any, any of these chests blown up, so they are my biggest fear down here. I don't want any of this stuff blown up, and that stupid wing keeps getting in my way. Die, okay. Okay, uh, okay, I just need to get rid of even more stuff here. Look at all the chests here. Look at all this stuff. <laughs> Wait, why didn't I put up? I didn't bring my backpack with me, did I? No, I didn't. I did not. Ow, stop that. Stop that. Mean. Oh dear. You know, I could just use my shield. Yeah, I could just use my shield, but oh well. Let me just clear these guys out. Place a torch. There's a creeper. Okay, these will be the last mobs that I have to deal with because I think now they all can't see anything. There we go, okay. Get the blood, that is crucial. Get the blood. There we go, fire dragon blood. Here it is. Whew, okay, let me just throw this junk out of here. Don't need that either. Okay, and then we just right click on it. Like so. And let's see what we got. Alright, let me just pick everything up. Stand back. Put a few more torches down. That'll do for now. Okay. Let's see what we got. I can already see that we got 
A stack of scales. Whoa. Okay. A stack and 40 scales. Six fire dragon flesh. One fire dragon heart. One skull. It was a stage fire dragon. Okay. It did take quite a few shots. <laughs> um, fire dragon blood. A lot of bones. And yeah, that's not too bad whatsoever. Let me just combine these both so I have more inventory space. Okay, so look at all the ores, look at all the gold, and look at all the drops. <laughs> okay, let me just um, confiscate a couple of chests here, because I need some room. I think the easiest is just to... Oh, 40 more. This is just to go around and just destroy all the chests and then see what we get. So I might just do that, break all these chests. I'm just gonna place a double chest over here, and then... And then yeah, we'll see all the loot collected. Now I, I won't be mining all the ores and all the um, all the gold right now because yeah, that's just gonna take too long. Ah, obsidian. That's just gonna take too long because I also want to show you some stuff back home at base. Plus, we have the scales now. We need to make the armor, right? So, oh, that was a lot of animals. So, yeah, we need to get back and do that. I could, of course, do it here, but what's the fun in that? Doing it down here in this dark, creepy place where I risk getting blown up. Yeah, let's not do it here. I'm gonna take stuff back and do it back at home. So let me just finish these chests here, and I'll be right back with you. All right, I think this is the final chest. I don't think there are any more. No, I don't think so. If they are, I will find them once I mine all these ores off camera. Because that's going to be a nightmare, getting all the ones in the ceiling. Yeah. Anyways, let us take a look at all the stuff that we got. So, six diamonds, a bunch of iron armor, a bunch of bones, a bunch of iron swords, a lot of gold, three emeralds, almost a stack of iron ingots, some books, manuscripts, chests, some nuggets, I'm pretty sure those were from the chest as well, and cobwebs. Not too bad of a haul, considering we also have all of this. So if I just, like, empty out all this stuff, actually leave that in there, take that out, take that out. Yeah, then we got all of this from the dragon itself. That is not too bad. The scales, of course, is used for making the armor, which we will be doing in this episode in a bit. The dragon heart cannot be used in this version of the mod, but can be used in the new version of the mod. So that is really good that we have that. The fire dragon flesh, you can eat it, but it sets you on fire. That's what it all told me, so yeah. That's that. Um, and a bunch of dragon boats, which is good because we need some tools as well. I think we are done down here. Um, to be honest, I don't really want the string, nor the bones, nor that. The gold ore, eh, there we go. And you know what? There, there we go. Okay. Uh, I don't really want this charred stone. I'll come back for this. I think I'll come back for this. Also, we have the obsidian, and yeah, we can actually make a. You know what? I'm taking this with me. I'm taking this with me, cause yeah, yeah, because I want to make an enchantment table, and see if I can maybe get fortune on a diamond pickaxe to get um, even more. Emeralds and diamonds because there is a lot of emeralds here, but all right. I think that was that now I just need to oh, of course I cannot forget these ingredients I've got to take this with me because this is a very prized possession uh, There is my hole These are the blocks that I have to work with. Okay, I'm gonna just bridge back up here and I'll meet you back home All right, just enough Would you look at that sweet break this? Yeah. Hello. Okay. Hit, hit. Yep, something like that. Let us hit home and make the armor. I have not yet, I will say this, I have not yet established a base. Um, and that is because I have actually decided not to live in the Gorgon Temple anyways. I actually have a different plan and that plan or idea was actually Atel's idea. So I decided to ask Atel where does she think I should put my base because I, I didn't really want to put it in the Gorgon Temple anyways and she suggested it that suggested it <laughs> suggested that we made it on this unlike the outside of the of this cliff 
Like, I'm not 100% sure what she meant. She would, she said she would make an example for me, so I could see um, what she meant. So I'm still waiting for that, but all I know is it will be on like this ledge or cliff side. If I remember correctly, it was on this side of the cliff. So I'm excited about that because I like that idea. And then maybe like a huge opening there, maybe in leading into like a huge dragon nest. Uh, stable thing i don't know anyways plenty of stuff to figure out in due time let us land right here and let us sleep have to get rid of the sumbo i want to make an armor stand um yes here it is <laughs> i want to make an armor stand you see because i want to just put up my old iron armor here and actually i might want to save i'm i mean i'll make the the um the scale dragon scale armor now but i don't think i'm going to keep it on until i have it somewhat enchanted so but anyways let's make it so let's start with the helmet there's the helmet let's do the chest plate nice leggings and boots with plenty of scales leftovers let me just put this i'll put it right there but for now I will wear it, because I want to see how it looks, and that looks amazing. Let's take a look. Oh yes. That is beautiful. If I just... What on earth? What? Eh? What is it doing up on land? I mean, I won't complain if it... Hold on. Hi, buddy. Is it stuck? I think it's stuck. I don't know how much health they have. I don't want to make it unstuck and then come for me. Will it die if it's out of the water? I don't know. I don't want to die from that, that thing. It looks like it might be tempted to come and eat my head. Anyways, if we just uh, place this down, take a look at this armor. That looks beautiful now i just need this enchanted so it doesn't get destroyed as quickly so i can preserve it even more and so it can protect even more if i get protection on it of course so yeah that is a huge upgrade from the rusty old iron armor here but i am going to put this on the armor stand for now because i really don't want to get um to get this damaged right now until i get it enchanted there we go it will be up there until I get an enchantment table set up, which I probably will do off camera. Now that's going to be it for this episode. There are two things left of us. One, what are we going to do in the next one? And another thing, I need to show you something. But let me show you that at the very end. It's, it, let, me, let me say they are in there. So I'll show you them in a moment. Anyways, what we're going to be doing in the next episode is to go to the nether because I need okay if I could type I need wither bones and I do believe you get those from killing wither skeletons so I gotta go to the nether kill and get wither bones so I can get dragon tools because I really want these I want the sword I want the shovel I want the pickaxe I want the the axe and I want the arrows and I want the bow and I want other stuff So yeah, I need I need to get those, and all of these requires handles of made out of willowbone. So hopefully I will be able to get a diamond sword with looting on it as well. So I will probably have to um, to do some enchanting, and I can actually set up like an XP farm thingy thing because where Buckbeak was put down over at the dragon cave, there actually was a dragon spawner underneath in a cave. I just didn't show you that. Um, but I found it when I was just jumping around waiting for nighttime, and I just ran across it down there. So that is cool. I'll probably have to do that so I could get some XP. But anyways, let me show you some new friends that I made. It was actually a rescue mission. Uh, I'll take the arrows. I don't mind. <laughs> I can use those. I use a lot. Um, but yeah, let me show you. I have two new friends in here. There's one of them. <laughs> We have two hamsters. 
So there is two of these guys. This one, there's a white one with aqua eyes or light blue eyes. So cute. And then we have another one over here with like an orange fur. Come on, look at me. Look, look at me. There we go. Hey, buddy. <laughs> now this was actually um, a rescue mission. I think I was going over to the island and I was coming back and those two guys were in the ocean. Like in the middle of the ocean and I was like, I gotta save those guys. So yeah, yeah, here, here they are. I tamed them and now they're here. Leave name suggestions down below for these guys because I'm bad with names. So yeah, be sure to name them down below. And again, I will be sure to name Buckbeak for the next episode because now I should have enough iron for an anvil. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. So okay, I thought that was a dragon. Okay. Buckbeak, don't, don't do that. Get away here. <laughs> that scared me. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Enable those notifications. Share it with your friends and family and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you next time. Also, links down below in the description for a Twitch, Discord, Twitter, that stuff. Yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.